Korokocho is whereby we were having one of the Catholic leaders, Father Alex. This Father Alex played a very important role in the Federation of Mungano. Because that Father Alex is the one who introduced people towards this Mungano Federation. This Father Alex is the one who was trying to change the lives of people staying within Korokocho. You can, you can meet so many people within Korokocho who are coming from Korokocho, driving big cars, bus because of Father Alex, not anybody else. Father Alex is, was from Italy. He was a father uh, at the St. John's Catholic Church. St. John Catholic Church is within Korokocho. He was somebody who was a bit short, but he, was, uh, he liked talking in a joking way. He can always joke with you, without, whether he knows you or not, he will joke with you. But what was uh, very funny with Father Alex, if he, he, you see him today, then even after 10 years, he will still recognize you with you, even your name. He was having a very good memory, but he was an old man. He liked to put, uh, carrying a rucksack at his back. You could not meet Father Alex with a rucksack, without a rucksack, <laughs> even at night. He could walk. He was not even, even he was not even using a, a vehicle within that area. He was walking all the day and night. Even if it is at night at around midnight, Father Alex could serve you just walking within around. And the, you know, with the with the slum areas, it is very risky, and uh, so many things do happen. But Father Alex was not uh, was not that very much coward. He was very brave and he was very sure of what he was trying to do within Korokocho. Uh, the only change that uh, Father Alex was after is the, uh, with the community members to own the particular land they are staying on. And the Father Alex came, it, came with it very clear that since we do not uh, own, uh, the, the, the land belongs to the government, we have to struggle to own that land because he was trying to tell us that, you know, this land, it doesn't belong. Somebody should not claim that he's a landlord and what have you. The land belongs to everybody here because the everybody, whoever is staying here, below, is the owner of the, this land. Now, when Father, Father, Father Alex introduced us to the Federation, you know, we have the, good, the, the well-wishers. And we have some, somebody who can just do something for the sake of doing it. By the time we were introduced to the, to the, to the NGO, that is Pamoja Trust, we were working with the people from, uh, from uh, low, uh, 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 low Society Farm. One of these people, that is the Jenweru, she's the one who showed the commitment that instead of uh, working in this farm, I should work with these poor people. And uh, she became the first director of the, of the farm. All that time uh, we stayed together, or we worked together as partners. What uh, I realized from her is quite different from so many people that I've been seeing within the slum areas. Because NGOs are working in our slum areas, and we do see them. You see somebody coming to the slum area, telling you, let us do this and this. The next time, you will see him with a very big car. But I've never seen Jane with a big car. This proves to me, or gives me that mentality that uh, she's having that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that willing heart to work with somebody, whether he or, is, or she is having or not. And I think that is why she has been working with the Federation members up to this moment because she is still there. You know, we, we, we in, in our slum areas, we do work with different NGOs when they come. But you know, they seem to be so much special than us. But with her, she's very simple, even, even the clothes she is putting on. So I think that kind of simplicity made her to, to, to successfully maintain the, the federation. Pamoja Trust was formed so that it can support the, the federation members. You know, these people are coming from slum areas, 
and uh, maybe there was some technical uh, knowledge that they could not access or they didn't they didn't know so Pamajatas was having that kind of technical team that can advise because everything we were doing on our own but Pamajatas as the NGO uh, members they can be behind us also they were there to at least to 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 make sure that they put all the, our resources together in order so that when we need them, we get them also in order. Like financial status, if we are being supported by SDI, the money is there, maybe something that can do a certain kind of activity. You know, if, if maybe um, we are from slums and we, we get that money, maybe we are on a round table. You know, sometimes we might think of at least slicing part of it to, to use first before we use it on. But that is why you find the NGO is coming in so that they regulate whatever resource is available within that, that, uh, that federation. You know, the, the Pamoja Trust and other NGOs that we have been working with as federation members, by the time they are coaching, giving us those opportunities, what they are doing for us, these things, also we are learning and we are gaining that kind of confidence among ourselves because that is their work, to make sure that we are confident with one another, we trust one another, we need to trust one another. We had uh, gone through process of uh, under Pamoja Trust for a long period and uh, when we, uh, we tried to disengage the partnership because we were seeing that at least we have a part of the, of the knowledge that we can sustain a bit of ourselves so that we do not need a lot of staffs. Because, uh, you know, when you have a lot of staffs, while almost everything you are, you are to the percentage of knowing everything, then it needs you have to reduce the, the staffs or you have to work on your own. We thought it wise that at least we should work on their, our own, but we should have a few people that we use, we, we, we work with, as a, not a, as partner NGO, but as a technical team that can advise us on a certain process. When we were moving from Pamoja Trust, we had to take some few, uh, uh, few uh, staffs so that we continue with the way we wanted. That, is, that was our motive. Even we tried to make ourselves in order so that we, we organize ourselves, we, we do, did the election and everything. But by the time we did this, there were some, more, even us, there are some of us who are having some different motives. So it became two, two federations working with different people. So SDI, according to SDI, even up to this moment, oh, they do not want to hear about somebody called the NGO. This is a technical team, he's, he's serving us for a certain period or he's working with us. But they had also limited the number of people that, you, that are supposed to work with, with the Federation, unless there is a lot of work to be done. So, you see, the, 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 this group that is here, they are the ones that follow the best procedure because the structure that is being used in Kenya, it is the structure being used in Uganda in other countries. And that is the structure of the SDI, Slum Dwellers International. 